about the stability of cycloalkenes. It brings up uh, this rule called breath rule. So if we're talking about rings, if you have less than six carbon, then there's no stable trans really for this. Right? So if you think about it, like we get six carbons here. So this is cis, right? They're on the same side. Right? So to get a trans, just think about what you'd have to do. You'd have to have that, right? So this would be a CH2. Here's another CH2, right? And then you're going to come down here to another CH2 and then to another CH2. And somehow these are going to like connect. So that's just not going to happen. So you can't do this. That would be a trans. So not really even possible. Seven is an unstable um, trans. Of, of course here, cis is stable. Right, just like up above, less than six carbon. Right, so this is stable there too. Um, and then this is weird, but so here's eight, eight carbons. Whatever reason that didn't print on there. Um, and let's say there's eight carbons or more. That's a small number of carbons you can have to get a tr uh, stable trans cycloalkene. So. Here's an example of that. Right, so here's your double bond right here. So this would be trans, and now that's stable, right? If you put a bond over here, that bond would be cis. So remember, eight's kind of the magic number. Stable cis, stable trans. Now, Brett's rule refers to two fused rings together. So they're bicyclo compounds. And um, it simply says that a bridged bicyclic compound cannot have a double bond at the bridge head position unless one of the rings contains at least eight carbons. So unless one of the rings contains at least eight carbons. So if you look down below and see if you can follow me on this. So that's our double bond, so along our red line here, that's coming down and it's coming back. So that arrangement right here is kind of like a zigzag, it's, it's trans. Those are trans to each other. Right? Coming around the other direction, we can come down this direction, right? Come up here as blue and get that. Right? If we do that direction right there, that actually is cis. So that methyl and that guy are cis to each other. So then the thing you look at is you say, okay, well, um, one of those rings ends up having a cis, one of them is trans, the number of carbons is less than eight, so you can't have a stable trans, right, unless you have eight carbons or more. So then we look on the other side, well here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's eight carbons in one of the rings, just doesn't have to be both, but one of them. And then down here, right, that, that pattern that we're flowing right here, that is trans. So trans, and again, remember this is the bridge head position here, right, in both of those. So it's that, that's the problem zone that we're really looking at. In that case, you're stable because you have trans at the bridge head with that magic number, eight carbons. So now we just want to be looking for that as we go through and uh, try to analyze uh, if we have a stable cycloalkane, bicyclic alkane. Thank you.